Hi guys, I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, noobs from Built On Purpose. This episode, I'm putting the rear drums back together on my Datsun 240Z. In the last episode, I installed the new old stock brake master cylinder in this Datsun 240Z. I'll flash a card up to that video if you're interested in looking at it. Um, these are the drum brake cylinders uh, re-sleeved by South Coast Brake Re-Sleevers. I've also got some drum shoes here to put in. Uh, so I'm gonna set about showing you how I rebuild the drum brakes on the back. Okie dokes, we're here at the um, rear drum hub. Um, you can see this is the axle. Um, this is the remaining handbrake uh, lever that pushes on the drum. Um, but yeah, this is the, the backing plate that you can see. Um, the first thing to do is take our rear drum cylinder, which sits in, in there looped around the handbrake bracket and install it with um, these sliding shims. Uh, you can see there's little divots here, there's corresponding little holes there. And the idea is that they sit in this orientation. So general rule of thumb is this big U-shaped one comes in from the, the adjuster nut end. Um, and this expander bracket, uh, expanding U-shaped one, sits in between the big U and the backing plate. These go on behind up the back here. Um, and they slot in. So if you can see, this one fits in there. And then this one slides in until those little divots. If you can see that, the little divots line up with that. So I'll get that in now. Getting this um, this small one uh, in around the big U and the handbrake levers is a bit tricky, so you just have to work at it. Ultimately. You get that so far with hand, by hand, but you'll need to persuade it with something a bit bigger. Now, I'm not restraining that big U by anything but friction, so you can often, um, with a good precise hit, with your hammer and your drift, knock that smaller U into shape so those dimples lock in. Alright, so they're in. Next bit is to apply some brake grease. Uh, the points you want to apply grease are here at the, the locating block, these six points here, and if your brake cylinder hasn't got it on the adjuster nut, as well as the, the other end, put a bit on there. What I got is just some, some just generic Molly Bendham high temp kind of grease, so I put that on there. Uh, you don't want to put too much on because if, you, if it gets what you want to do is keep the brake drum linings, the shoe linings, free of contamination. Um, and if you get too carried away with this, when you're putting it all together, you might inadvertently get some on there. So you don't need a lot, just enough to get a, a nice surface so it doesn't stick and, and rattle because this brake, brake grease can often stop noise too. So you've got two shoes as part of this drum assembly. Uh, the one with the notch out here sits on the handbrake lever that when the handbrake is engaged, it pushes on the drum. Um, so that one goes to the rear. Uh, and this is just the standard one that goes to the other side. There's also two pairs of springs that go on here. Uh, the one with the two hooks uh, is the bottom one that sits in there. And this one here, uh, it has a, uh, uh, an outside and inside, goes on the top. Uh, the outside part of the spring um, goes with the adjuster nut in the direction. So when you're doing the, the other side of the car, you, that's how the, the Datsun manual orientates it. And so what holds the drums in place is these two little 
uh, tongues with um, flattened ends on, which uh, you put the drums on, and these, you got a, a seating washer, and this washer goes on top, and then you've got, if I get it right, a capping plate. You can see that it's, it's actually slotted, so the idea is it goes on this tongue and the tongue gets turned 90 degrees and if you can see it there it's actually got a seating groove for when you turn it 90 degrees Let's see if we can see that okay on camera there we go you can see it you turn it 90 degrees and it sits in that seating groove which locks it in place with this spring I find it um, the hardest to get in because it's not um, just two loops, it actually feeds into holes, you have to bend it in. I find that when I'm putting the drums in, uh, the drum shoes in, I put this in um, with the drums and then proceed to assemble it because I've never been able to put the drums in, get it all clipped in and then feed this spring in and collect, connect it in without difficulty. So that's, that's the way I've done it. Feed the springs in. Bit of a surgeon's game here. Get that in. There we go, get them aligned. Now that they're roughly in, the next step is to put these these springs on. Always found this a bit bit tricky to be able to push this on. You just gotta suck it up, push the spring in on as far as you can and turn it. That's those two in, all sorted. The last piece to the puzzle is this spring at the top, which is just a matter of hooking getting it in the hole. Simple as that. So that's, that's it if you can see it. It's all in. Uh, make sure you can still get your drum on. In this case, I cannot, so something needs to be adjusted in the alignment of these shoes so I can get it on. Uh, what can happen is uh, that the drum cylinder might not be in the right position. Um, you saw the, the two U things are friction based, it's not actually bolted so it can slide around a little bit. So getting that alignment is important. Right, so that's on. So there's a dust seal on the back that you need to pull on over the arrangement before you can put the brake line back in. So it's just a matter of stretching that over everything. There we go. It's easy enough. Matter of putting the brake line on. So it's all back together. One of the last things to do is uh, inbuilt into this drum cylinder is a self adjusting handbrake. Uh, so I haven't bled the brakes, but everything's all connected. I've completely put together the other side. So what I'm going to do now is go yank on the handbrake a few times, and you should hear click, 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 and that'll slowly adjust the, um, the drum brakes out. Might be more than just a handful of clicks. Alrighty, -o. so when I pull this off, you should see that the adjuster nut has come out a bit further. So that means 
Uh, when it clicks, no, uh, stops making clicking noises when you pull the handbrake on means these drums are adjusted. So now these are all ready for bleeding. Okay, that's the drum brakes reassembled um, for my 240Z. Uh, it's still applicable to a 260Z, a 280Z, anything on the S30 chassis. Um, so I hope that's armed you with some knowledge and even some confidence to do your own um, um, drum brakes. Um, I've got a playlist of all the brake stuff I'm doing for this. Um, and if you're interested, uh, getting a bit more knowledge, hopefully it'll give you a bit more knowledge. Have a look at that. I'll put the card up. Okay, guys, that's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, appreciate a like. Uh, if you think someone else might benefit from it, share it with them. Um, if you've got your own Datsun build, leave a comment. Also, have a look at the Facebook and Instagram links in the description.